under the integration testing in the object oriented context because the object oriented software does not have that hierarchical control structure because in conventional way we used to take the modules or the component and then we combine them and then we do the integration testing that is we have to test the interfacing that is what we were doing so we were using the top down the bottom up in top down we were using the the different type of bed search and depth first but here we don't have that that obvious hierarchical control structure so traditional top down and bottom up integration strategy the strategies are uh, not having that much meaning here so in integration testing in object oriented we have two strategies first is the thread based testing this thread is not equivalent to the thread we talk about in operating system so what we'll do here is we'll take certain classes and these classes are those classes or we'll take the subset of the class which are going to respond to one input or an event for the software or the system so these are whole classes we took them as a subset combine them and then they are acting on such input and event so each thread this is one of the thread so you can have multiple thread a subset of a class you, you can have multiple classes say 100 classes 50 classes so 10 you can take as one thread 10 you can take as another thread so each thread is integrated and tested individually right this thread one thread two this will be tested individually and then we'll do the regression testing also because when we combine certain thing there should not be any side effect or any change may not have some side effect so this is the thread based testing this this is one of the strategy of integrated testing for object oriented then we have the use based testing so this begins by testing those classes because let me have give you an idea there are certain server classes there are certain independent classes and there are certain dependent classes there are certain dependent classes on server class but there are certain classes which are somewhat independent they are not dependent on a server cl server class because this is the independent class it might not have any relationship with the server class or very minute relationship but there are certain classes which may have direct say interaction or dependency with the server class so we will test first the independent class that is not having that much relationship with the server classes then we'll come to the next layer and these are the dependent class because as i said these dependent class will be related or will be dependent on the server class so first we check the independent then the dependent class this is the use based testing so we can use the drivers also and stubs also drivers are the main program calling stubs are the the programs or sub programs which are invoked by what we are testing so we have a driver class this see the driver can be used to test operation at the lowest level and whole group of classes a driver for example can be a user interface so if you are calling everything from the user interface for example in qt so you can make a simple user interface not that uh, you know proliferated but just a simple interface and then you can start the or invoke your classes and when you are cl calling different classes these classes may have collaboration so when the, you have collaboration between different classes and some of the classes are not being made for example c1 c2 c3 and c2 may not uh, is uh, you have not prepared it or not uh, filled it so you can make a stub of c2 so cluster testing is also one of the step in the integration testing so here we use the uh, crc and the object relationship model we know how to say design or make a design of object oriented so a cluster of collaborating classes the idea we got from the information from design crc and object relationship model now this is exercised by designing test cases that uncover the errors or the problem in the collaboration and this collaboration is coming from where from the design from the design so this is how we do the cluster testing also so we have the thread testing we have the use case and one more cluster testing